Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at magnetic field patterns. So let's get started. Now we're moving on from the theory on electric fields to look at magnetic fields now. And we're going to start by looking at magnetic field patterns. And the first thing to note is that the following is analogous to the previous notes about electric field patterns. So what we're going to look at for magnetic field patterns is very similar to what we saw for electric field patterns. So first of all, it tells us that magnets have two poles, north and south, just like there are two types of electric charge, positive and negative. And I like to think about north poles as being like positive charges and south poles as being like negative charges. And just like opposite charges attract and like charges repel, we have the opposite poles attract and that like poles repel as well. So here you can see the magnetic field pattern for a single bar magnet. So we've got a north pole on the left and a south pole on the right. And you can see that we get this attraction from north to south. And that's why I like to think about north poles as being like positive charges and south poles as being like negative charges. Because remember for a negative charge, the electric field lines go in towards the negative charge and out of a positive charge. And it's the same for poles. So for the north pole, we have magnetic field lines going out of the north pole. And you'll see they're creating a sort of circular pattern on the left there. And then for the south pole, again, we've got this kind of circular pattern, but we've got the magnetic field lines going in towards the south pole. We've then got this attraction between the north and south poles shown by these curved lines here. So you'll notice it goes out of north here and into south, out of north and into south, and they're getting more and more curved away from the center here. It then goes on to say that any magnet will have a magnetic field around it, just like any charge has an electrical charge around it. And we say that a magnetic field is a region of space around the magnet where another magnet will experience a force. And this is worded similarly to our electric field definition, which remember said that an electric field is a region of space around a charge where another charge will experience a force. So we're just talking about magnetic field and magnets this time. They're the only words that we've replaced. And just like for electric field lines, we have rules for drawing magnetic field lines, which are that when drawing magnetic field lines, the arrows are drawn to show the direction that a north pole would move if placed in that field. This means that they will always go from north to south, i.e. out of a north pole and into a south pole, just like they go out of a positive charge and into a negative charge. The relative spacing of the field lines indicates the field strength. So we say that lines closer together means a strong magnetic field and lines further apart means a weak magnetic field. So if we look at our diagram here, you can see at the poles where the lines are all closest together, that would be a strong magnetic field. Whereas further away out here, for example, or in the middle, you've got the lines being more spaced out. So that would be a weaker magnetic field. It's also worth looking at the magnetic field patterns for two opposite poles and two like poles. So here we've got a north pole close to a south pole and you'll notice that the field lines are going out of north and into south. We've got this attraction going on. So we've got this straight line in the middle and then the lines start curving around either side. And then further away, they start breaking off into the individual field lines for the north and south. Whereas for two light poles, we could have two north poles near each other or two south poles near each other. And in this case, we'll get two north poles near each other, which you'll see are repelling each other. So we've got this repulsion being shown in the middle, which is the main idea here. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.